Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn what share capital of a company is. Okay? And before we do that, let us learn what contingent liability is. Okay? So this is left out. Right? So we will learn this first and then proceed to learn about share capital. Okay? Now, before I explain you what contingent liability is, let me give you an example or an analogy. You see, today I want to go out. Okay? I am at home right now. I want to go out. It is a rainy season. But it is not raining right now. What I will do is, I will carry an umbrella with me. If it rains, I will use the umbrella. If it does not rain, I will not use the umbrella. Okay? It is not raining now, but just to be safe, just as a precautionary measure, I am going to take an umbrella. If it rains, I am going to open up the umbrella and use it. If it does not rain, I am going to bring the umbrella as is. Okay? Understood the example? Alright. Now this contingent liability is like the umbrella. Okay? Now this is kept aside. This is kept aside. How much is this? 73,401 crore rupees. So this is kept aside as a precautionary measure. Alright? For what? Let us see. Let us say that someone has filed a complaint against the company saying that the company is cheating the customers or consumers by saying that they are in profit while in reality they are in loss. So they may have a lawsuit against the company. Or let us say that there is a pending investigation. Let us say that there is a, there is a lawsuit saying that the company has uh, broken or used copyright of someone else or it violates copyright of someone else or any other lawsuit or any other lawsuit which is upon the company okay now this is ongoing this will be ongoing it will take time for investigation and to get the results okay Next, product warranties. Now, take this example. You might have seen sometimes that some automobile makers recall all their vehicle, some model of car from the market saying that certain part in the vehicle is defective. Okay? So, that counts as a warranty issue or something might have gone wrong and the company might be expecting some warranty claims okay so all these things have unknown results meaning the lawsuit may be in favor of this or not meaning the result of the lawsuit may come in favor of this or not. So the company may win the case or lose it. Alright. So investigation. After investigating, maybe the company wins or it loses. Product warranties. Maybe there will be warranty claims or they may not be. Okay. There may not be. So the outcome of these is uncertain and unknown. Okay? So, to be on a safer side, company keeps aside some amount of money 
and that is contingent liability okay i am going to take an umbrella i do not know whether it will rain or not if it rains i will use it if not i will bring the umbrella back okay if the company wins the case if no warranty claims are done by the consumers if the result of the investigation comes out in favor of the company then this money will not be used but if the company loses or if the result of any investigations comes against the company or if there are a lot of warranty claims then it will use this money to cover up these okay yes so that is about contingent liabilities now this contingent liabilities where does it come from you see if you add this up you will get this much if you add this up you will get this much so this and this are balanced but here we have contingent liabilities if we take it to the liability side and add it up then the balance sheet will be balance sheet will be unbalanced okay so where does it come from or where does it go contingent liabilities are liabilities itself so it has to be from here or from this section contingent liabilities are part of reserve side surplus or a better way to put it is if there comes any situation where this needs to be used then the money will be taken from this okay so this contingent liability is a part of reserve side surplus okay so if at all if at all there is a situation where the company has to use this then it will be used from reserve side surplus okay so this minus whatever is used now when that is done it will be removed or subtracted from other assets too okay for example if 10000 crores are required 10000 crores are required for uh, product warranties then from reserves and surplus 10000 crores would be deducted and from other assets 10000 crores would be deducted okay so it would be removed from here and here both all right so i hope the concept of contingent liabilities is clear so it is really part of reserves and surplus i can say but then it is shown as separate okay next we have share capital all right now what is share capital share capital is the amount that is collected from the public when the company put out shares for the very first time okay so this is a very general definition because we have some other as aspects to which i will explain now so share capital is the amount collected by the public when the company gave away the shares for the very first time okay now share capital is equal to face value into number of shares the face value of companies will be generally 1 2 5 or 10 okay share face value will be generally 1 rupees or 2 rupees or 5 rupees or 10 rupees okay generally that will be the face value so here i have taken as 10 rupees i have taken this company has face value of 10 rupees or the shares of this company has face value of 10 rupees so 10 into this many number of shares would give you this many crores of rupees okay that is share capital all right 
now in general this would be the money collected from the public when the company gave out its shares to the public all right now this will not change this will not change unless unless if the company goes for fpo follow on public offer what is it i have made a separate video you can watch it or if the company buys back shares or company gives away bonus shares okay so if any of these things happen the share capital changes otherwise from year to year the share capital does not change okay now here i told you that this is the amount this is the amount collected from the public when the company gave away shares for the very first time well that is not actually true because i do not know i do not know whether the company had gone for an fpo in the previous year or i do not know whether the company had give, uh, had gone for a buyback in the previous year or any other years or i do not know if the company has given bonus shares now this is as of march 2023 without looking at previous years without looking at previous years data i cannot say whether this is the actual amount that was collected when the shares were given for the very first time okay we cannot say that now let me redefine share capital share capital refers to the total value of the shares issued by a company in other words it represents the amount of money that a company has raised by issuing shares to shareholders all right so this would be a better way to put it clear now let us see how the company can use the reserves and surplus okay we have learnt about reserves and surplus correct reserves and surplus or the amount from reserves and surplus can be used to reinvest in the company meaning company can buy more land company can buy more machinery or company can discard the machineries with older technology and buy new machines with new technologies which has improved productivity by doing all those things the company will be increasing its output and in a way grow okay the money from reserves and surplus can be used to do that next it can use the money to expand and diversify now what do you mean by expand let us say that the company is currently producing coconut oils okay it can move into a different sector or i can say it can go and produce something else up until now it was producing coconut oil it can move out of this area and produce almond oil or olive oils or it can also produce soaps made from coconut oil or something like that okay so move away from the current sector and produce something new or do something new so that is what it means by expand and diversify so the company can use the money from reserves and surplus to expand and diversify the company can give special dividend company can give special dividend or dividend to shareholders if the need arises the company can use money from reserves and surplus to cover up contingent liabilities 
the company can go for buyback of shares which we will see soon or company can give bonus shares what are bonus shares i have made up made a video about it you can watch it later okay so these are some of the things the company can do with the money that is in the reserves and surplus apart from these there are many other other things too but i have taken the only ones which i feel you can understand or relate to all right i hope the concepts are clear i hope you have understood what share capital and contingent liabilities are this is enough for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching